I was really excited when I got the email saying that this week's theme was goals because it was spot on the speech that I thought I was going to actually give. So it's right on point. Thank you. There's a saying, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll land among the stars. Cheesy as it is, it has some interesting meaning and some validity in that if you set ambitious objectives, even if you fail to reach those, you can still achieve a certain amount of success and grow from that attempt. And today I want to present a framework related to all of that because I think a lot of the time we fail to reap the benefit of those objectives because we don't set them cleverly. And an objective is really a goal, but I don't want to use either of those words because you've used them a lot and they have a lot of implicit meaning. Instead, I'm going to use a word or a term, set point. Now that's derived from mechanical engineering and control robotics. And the idea is just that your set point is where you want to be. So in a control system, you have a set point, let's call it S. And you have somewhere where you are, let's call that X. You compare where you are to where your set point is, where you want to be. Based on that difference, you apply some sort of action, you do something to hopefully get you closer to that set point. But it's not that simple because that action gets filtered through an environment, which results in a new you, a new place where you are. You then perceive and evaluate where you are and repeat the process. And this is just a feedback loop. So I want to dive into each component of this framework to try to present a way to better design and implement these set points. The first part we'll start with is that set point. It is a basis for comparison. And you need to set that, obviously, somewhere where you are not, somewhere you want to be. And you can set that very high. For example, I want to be able to present and speak as well as my advisor. I want to be able to do research at the same quality as the postdocs in my lab. I'm not going to do that, but I know that in trying to achieve that, I will be able to improve myself. So I see where I am, I know that I'm not at my set point, and I do something. However, I need to be a little careful with what I do, because my environment affects how my action changes me and moves me towards that set point. Because maybe I'm, I'm a pretty lucky guy. I have a super supportive lab, so I can take a lot of actions that are fairly risky and have a high potential for benefit. And my lab is so supportive that those actions help me build towards something I want. Whereas I've seen in other labs, people are afraid to reach out and take risks because they don't have that support structure. So that's your environment. And that's very important in shaping how your actions change you, change your state. That's number two. So you compare yourself to where you want to be. You apply an action get, that gets filtered through this environment. And finally, you have to actually figure out where you are. You have to perceive what your state is and that is very dangerous because sometimes it's very hard to know where you are with respect to your set point. When I was taking my qualifying exam, it's a stressful time. You're supposed to feel terrible. You, you may know that. And I, I really felt like I was failing. I had no idea how I was doing and I was nervous. And at the same time, I thought my research wasn't good enough because I wasn't as good as my advisor. And I was really low until I took quals. And near that time, I had an annual review with my advisor. I found out, number one, I passed quals. Number two, I wasn't doing all that badly. Yeah, I, I wasn't as good as my advisor, which is probably a good thing. But I was doing pretty well for myself. So my perception of that set point was totally off. It was out in left field. And being brought back to understand where I really was helped me reset and reevaluate. And so I completed the cycle. 
where I knew where I wanted to be and I compared myself to where I thought I was. I took an action that was filtered through this wonderfully supportive environment, then perceived that action and put out a new response. And I'm still running around this hamster wheel oh. over and over. And I'll keep doing that and keep improving and moving towards these set points. And if you understand this framework, you can really get at the origin and the purpose and the importance of your set points. And that will let you create clever and very effective, getting back to the word I wanted to avoid, goals. You can generate goals that are sustainable, that won't have you doubting yourself and thinking you're useless, and ultimately help you get from where you are to where you want to be. So I urge you to consider all aspects of this when you're designing and implementing set points. Therefore, know thyself and know thy set point. Thank you. Oh,